Hey guys, happy Sunday. Um, I wanted to go live and show you um, how to use Linktree for your business. It's going to be a super quick video, but one of the things that I use for my business and it has really helped me when people are asking me for different links um, was one, create a Linktree, but two, one of my biggest tips um, if you are growing a team, especially, or if you constantly get the same question over and over again, is to make a video about it. So I'm making a video, um, just showing you quickly, like some ins and outs of Linktree so that if you want to create one, um, you have it. And then once this video is created, then I can reference it to other people on my team, um, et cetera. So like I mentioned, I use Linktree for, um, like my my parties, sample forms, just like all the things, my website. And I'll actually show you mine because I'm gonna add a link and show you literally how easy it is. So Linktree is free. I'm not getting like a cut out of this or anything. There is an upgraded version. Um, I think it's $5 a month. And I, um, I don't know how to turn that chat off, so. Oh, well, um, I did pay for the upgraded one for like six months because I wanted everything to be perfect and branded and blah, blah, blah. And then I was like, that's $60 a year that it doesn't need to be paid for. So you can pay for it. Um, it will give you some analytics, uh, a little more analytics. It'll let you, um, you know, make the, the links pop and stuff like that. But for me, I didn't really need it. So let me share my screen with you. Um... I'll just do, I'll do the application window. There we go. Okay. So hopefully then you can see Linktree. <laughs> okay. So this is why over here on the right is what it will look like when um, someone pulls it up on their phone. Actually, let me just show you. This is what it looks like if you pull it up then on um, the website. So you would go into Linktree and create create your link tree. So mine is just my name. I highly recommend it's just your name or something really, really simple that you can remember. Um, and you can see I have a bunch of links on here. So I have my website. So what happens if someone clicks that, then they automatically will go. This is like my my actual official website I have. Um, so that it just goes straight, straight to it. So I just have to remember one link tree, linktr.ee forward slash your username. Um, I have my sample request form for Color Street. I have my VIP group, join my team, order nails here. This is always my current like VIP order link. I have my podcast link to my YouTube channel, my social selling sisterhood free group. And then I have my current open parties. I actually need to add some parties tonight too. My um, Facebook profile link because I would like people to follow me on there. And I thought it had, I thought I had my Instagram, but apparently not. So I'll show you how to add. So this is the dashboard. I'll show you how to, to create it. So I need to add, um, I want to add my, the company I'm with is Color Street. I want to add my Color Street income disclosure statement on here. So on, um, I was just listening to Jesse Lee's podcast and she mentioned how she had it on there. And I was like, ooh, that's really smart. So I'm going to add it. I'm going to put it right at the bottom though. I didn't spell it right. <laughs> uh, statement. So I just type what I want people to see. Then I copy the link. I go back here and I paste the link. And then it's not turned on though until I click out of it. And you can turn links on and off. So actually, oh, I deleted them. You can turn links on and off. Um, and then all you do to move them is just scroll and like drag it down and then it always takes my computer a second it didn't go down as far as i want now you can go in you can add a picture even on the free version here you can see like pictures um i had all of that and when i when i changed my thing from the free one to the pro one um it like took the pictures away, but you can star. So I want my, oh, maybe that's just with the, that's just with the paid version then. Okay. Then I don't need anything. Um, you can change the appearance up here. So you can see there's lots of free themes. Definitely put a picture of you. 
pick an image, put it up there. You definitely want your picture that'll be up there at the top. Um, and put you, don't put your company, you know. Um, we're really working on branding like you, not whatever product you sell. So put a, put a nice picture of you up there. Um, and then there's lots of fun ones. Now you can see these pro ones are ones that you have to pay for. Um, I chose a purple one. I go back and forth kind of between these bottom ones. I really like those. Actually, here, I'll show you. I'll just change to this pink one since my colors are usually pink anyway. Um, background color is pro. I had my old background color there. This is what you can upgrade. Your buttons can look different. Again, that wasn't really important to me. Same thing with the font. I had a different font. Um, and then you can hide the Linktree logo. So not super important. So really, guys, that's it. So you can go through and easily add, um, <clears throat> you know, whatever you want. You can see I've had um, 2.19 views, 1.5 clicks. You, so you still get to see that with the paid version or the unpaid version, the free version. I'm sorry. Um, so things I recommend if you do have your own personal website, not your company one, you know, definitely have that on there. Have your VIP group. If you have a VIP group for people to connect to you, if you offer a sample, put your sample form, join my team, order your nails here. Um, you, you may or may not have a podcast. I have my podcast linked, my YouTube channel linked. So have anything linked on here that is something that you send out to people, um, you know, kind of, kind of frequently because, it, it's so nice. And actually now I put a shortcut shortcut in my phone. Um, I put it, how you do a shortcut on an, at least an Apple phone. You go to, um, no, I'm not gonna be able to find it. You go to keyboard, maybe accessibility. Yeah, accessibility, keyboard, nope. Let me just search, search shortcut. So anyway, long story short, I, general keyboard, general keyboard. Yes, general keyboard, text replacement. So I have in my text replacement, if I just type in link TR together, it auto populates my link tree. So then it's even easier. So when people are like, hey, I'd like a sample. Um, hey, what's your VIP group? Hey, you know, where can I listen to your podcast? I just like, psh, 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 like pop it out, <laughs> um, which is so, so nice. Um, and then whatever your picture is there at the top of your link tree, when you type it in as a link that will auto populate, um, like your picture will, will show up, which is nice because you want people to see your face if you're in a business. So again, a couple of things to learn from this. One, actually how to use link tree. Two, when you get lots of the same sorts of questions from people or or even if you're building a team and you get a question for the first time, if you make a video about it, it saves you time. And that's how you're able to duplicate and not spend your time. Like I've done eight minutes now showing Linktree that I don't have to do again. I can send a video. Um, and the third thing, as you're building a team, um, I created a Linktree, a separate Linktree for my team. So I have a separate link tree for my team. And on that, I have our important documents. Um, I have the link to our Facebook group, the link to our behind the scenes considering joining our team group, um, the link to our income disclosure statement, because we're supposed to put that in our posts where we talk about, you know, earning money or whatnot. Um, what else do I have in there? Uh, we created a document that's hyperlinked that has like everyone's questions in it. You know, how do we mail things out? What are all the groups I should join? Blah, blah, blah. We have a, we call it the golden doc. So I have the golden doc linked in there. Um, just stuff like that. I have the, the information about our upcoming team retreat. It's linked in there, I think. <laughs> so anyway, that's another cool thing that you can do with your team separately. Obviously you don't want to share that out to the public, but you can, um, create different link trees like that for things you're getting questions about and you don't want to spend your time going and looking for your link all the time. So there is another option that I just want to quickly mention that I'm going to hop off here. It's called Milkshake. It's an app. Um, and if you just Google Milkshake link, they're, they're actually way cuter than Linktree. Um, but it, it takes a little bit more. It looks a little bit more like an actual website and it, it took a little more. So I actually have one of those as well, but it took a little more to get it like up and going. Um, so if you don't like the look of the link tree, you want something that has a little bit more option. Um, I, I think you can pay for upgrades as well with milkshake. There's some girls in our team who use milkshake as well. So 
that's an option. Linktree, Milkshake. I know there's a third one, um, but I just am not familiar with it. So I hope that helps. Again, it's super simple. Um, you copy and paste your links in, you make sure the links are turned on and you can drag them to reorder them. And then when like a party's over, you can just delete the link or you can turn a link off. So like um, before my podcast was up and going, I just had my podcast link turned off which was really nice. So I hope this was helpful. Um, share this with a friend. If you know someone who needs to learn how to do this or, um, you know, save it for later so you can come back and find it and have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.